Christmas. I'm Pastor Dave. Welcome to Church Chateau, Tennessee. This is our Christmas Eve service message. So glad that you can join us. Let's pray. Father God, we just thank you for this Christmas time of year that we can celebrate the birth of Christ. I just pray your blessing upon this message and on all who hear and see it. And it's in Jesus' name we pray and all God's children said, Amen. So if you have your Bibles, open up to Luke chapter 2, verse 8. Oh. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told by them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. Verse 8. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. A little unknown fact about who the shepherds were. They were the outcasts of society. Nobody liked them. They were shunned and nobody trusted them. And the people in, in the city would not even allow the shepherds to be witnesses in a courtroom. And that is one reason why these shepherds live out in the fields, as it says. So here they are watching their flocks this one night. And there were several shepherds, by the way, and they, they worked in small groups for three-hour shifts. So we don't know who these shepherds were exactly, but there were other shepherds that were probably getting to sleep during this time because they were not working. But those who were on the clock were the ones. And they're the ones when the angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and says they were greatly afraid. It's being greatly afraid means they were terrified. Terrified. But what do the angels say to them knowing that they're terrified? They say in verse 10, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. Notice, first, the angels comfort them, saying, do not be afraid, because I bring you, bring you this message. Look what it says. 
For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be for all people. You know, when the gospel is preached to us, it comes to us first personally. And that's what these angels did. They brought it to the shepherds first personally and then let them know, but it's going to go out past you guys. This isn't just for you, it's for others. And then they go on to tell them in verse 11, for there is a born to you in this day in the city of David, the Savior who is Christ the Lord. And we know that this city of David is Bethlehem. In the town of Bethlehem, the word Bethlehem means city of bread. And here Jesus Christ, the bread of life, is born in Bethlehem, the city of bread. And it goes on to say, this will be the sign to you that you will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. When it says suddenly there was this angel, a multitude, this means so many, it could possibly be more than 6,000. Over 6,000 of these angels are praising God in heaven and the heavens above these shepherds right there. And singing glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Praising God. And so it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste. Haste means they left in a hurry and with, with great desire. And they left those sheep behind. They left the sheep behind. They did not care if anything happened to those sheep. They wanted to go see the Savior in the manger. And they did it with great haste. And it says, Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them according to this child. And all those heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. This is a true story. This really happened over 2,000 years ago. These shepherds, these outcasts, went, with, went in haste to go see, and when they saw that it was true, they made widely known. They started telling everybody what had happened. Church family, we need to step up to the plate and be like the shepherds and start making it widely known what happened that the savior of the world was born in Bethlehem. And it wasn't just for us personally, it was for the whole world. And we need to make that widely known. And so it says here that those who heard were marveled. They were marveled. And this is in verse 19, but Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told to them. So not only did they share what happened, but they took it with them in their heart. This Christmas season, let's remember that our Savior was born in Bethlehem. Let's make it widely known to others. And let's carry that joy with us throughout this season and through this next new year. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for watching and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this time together. We thank you for using lowly shepherds. Lord, because you care. You even care about the outcasts. That's just as much as you care about those who are not outcasts. And Lord, we praise you for that. Because we are all outcasts without you, but you came to save us, and we thank you.
And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.